Hey Peaches! Before I continue on, I just wanted to start off by saying thank you so much to the VidCon team, Hank and John Green, you guys did amazing. Thank you so much for putting 110% into planning VidCon this year. I can only imagine what it's like to plan a convention for 18,000 people, and you guys gave your all, so thank you so, so, so much. I'm just grateful that I got to go for a second year. Now, I don't have problems with other people if they're being well-mannered and, you know, they're in control of themselves and, you know, they're just, they're being, you know, nice and fine and dandy. However, I do have a problem with people when they begin to act in a certain way that jeopardizes the safety of not only those around them, but the safety of themselves. So, I just want to talk about a couple of things regarding attendee behavior at VidCon 2014. This is not meant to be mean. This is me being completely honest, you guys we need to control ourselves. Now I've seen many comments from many people regarding the VidCon mobbings. Not only that, but there have been a couple videos posted by other YouTubers discussing the VidCon mobbing and how it was just completely out of control. I heard that a certain YouTuber tried to leave her hotel room and was actually chased back into her hotel room because there were so many fans waiting for her to come out of her hotel room. I've heard that many people were waiting inside the hotel, they were riding up and down the elevators, going up to restricted floors to try and meet famous YouTubers. I've heard that people were using Instagram and Twitter to try and find out where people were staying to go and meet them. I've even heard of some girl decking a security guard in the face when she couldn't see Tyler Oakley because his line was cut. Like seriously, what the frick? I mean, if you're going to act like a crazy fangirl or fanboy, you're probably going to be jeopardizing the safety of those around you again. Like I just said, jeopardizing the safety of those around you and your own safety. VidCon, the VidCon team works hard to create a safe and positive environment for us. And if you're going to act crazy, you're basically just ruining the VidCon environment because you're acting in a way that could, you know, possibly disturb the safety of the VidCon environment. So at the end of the day, we need to learn to control ourselves and give people their personal space. I mean, if I was mobbed like that, I'd probably drop to the ground in the fetal position and have an anxiety attack. Some people have anxiety, so don't, you know, don't get up in their personal bubble. We all have our own personal bubble. Don't get up in it. We need to give people their personal space. And the thing that really bothers me is the, um, the, the hotel issue. You know, people riding up and down the elevators, people trying to find YouTubers' hotel rooms. YouTubers' hotel rooms are their sanctuaries. It's where they can go to get away from the chaos, where they can go to relax and gather their thoughts and just, you know, relax. You're disturbing that if you're going up and down the elevator, if you're trying to find their hotel room, if you're waiting outside their hotel room, you're disturbing that, so... Like, control yourselves. Yeah, that's all I really have to say for right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Like, comment, favorite, subscribe, the usual, if you want to see more content from me. And, um, that's about it. So, peace. I love you all. Live, laugh, love, and have a good day or night, depending on when you watch this video. And I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video.